Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I just have a couple uh, updates today. Uh, one, I want to send congratulations to Christopher Soren, who was our episode 12 winner. And uh, he wasn't available when I came down to uh, take a picture of uh, Link. Uh, so I had to use my um, old school Photoshop skills and, and grab a picture from the archive. So uh, hopefully this, uh, this picture will work out uh, for Christopher. Um, and secondly, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, well actually I wanted to show some screenshots of the PeopleSoft environment. And I had an opportunity uh, yesterday to uh, do a presentation at the Council of Unions and Student Programs um, with uh, Betsy Apps, who's the functional lead for Campus Solutions uh, at the State Board. And we showed some uh, screenshots of the PeopleSoft environment, and so I wanted to share those uh, with you and kind of show um, show you all what uh, uh, some of the aspects of the system are going to look like, just uh, three areas we're going to focus on. So the first I wanted to talk about is called the uh, Faculty Center. And the Faculty Center is area where faculty go, of course, where they can uh, look at rosters, they can look at their classes, and they can look at that, uh, that kind of information. Um, and I did, when I was uh, having a conversation with Betsy yesterday, she did say that there is a gradebook component within PeopleSoft. Uh, we just don't know what that looks like, or I don't know what that looks like yet because I haven't seen it. But she said it was fairly rudiment rudimentary, but uh, there was a gradebook piece there. Um, so anyway, this is kind of what the faculty center looks like. Uh, you can see the class information. You can see um, uh, links here for uh, class roster, um, grade book, etc. Uh, so that's the faculty center. The next thing I wanted to show was, um, it's called the advisor center. And of course, this is for the advising group. And uh, they have access to all of their advisees. They can send notifications. They can look at data for other students. So there's uh, an, an, quite a bit of information here around uh, students. And you'll see there's a student center. You have access to student center, general info, transfer credit, and academics. And the tabbed functionality is something you're going to see across the board in PeopleSoft. You have a lot of information at your fingertips. You just have to kind of switch tabs to access uh, various pieces of information. And then uh, lastly, I wanted to show this financial dashboards uh, screenshot. This is something I'm kind of excited about. Um, because it's, it's, it gives an illustration of the data and analytics piece uh, within PeopleSoft. And so the, the dashboards basically give you a visualization of your data. And so in this case, it's a visualization of finance data. So if you're looking at your budgets and you want to see how much, how much money you have, those kinds of things, purchases that have, that have, that have occurred, you, you have that information at your fingertips there. Um, but this is just an example of the kinds of uh, reports and reporting that you can pull from the system. We're going to have access to uh, Oracle's business intelligence uh, reporting tools to where we can have other dashboards built or build other dashboards uh, uh, on various pieces of data within the system. So we'll be able to look at data in a, in a, in a whole new way um, than we're kind of used to uh, now. I mean, we do have some of this capability with our Tableau uh, dashboards that are out there. Um, but other people will have access to these tools, will we'll, uh, increase access to uh, these tools on campus so other people can build uh, reports and dashboards uh, as they need. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to cover today. Just wanted to uh, show a few screenshots um, and, uh, and uh, have that picture of Christopher. Um, hopefully he enjoys, uh, enjoys that one. It's, like I said, it's from the archives. Uh, hope everybody has a great weekend and stay tuned Monday uh, for the, the question of the week or bi-weekly <laughs> question um, uh, for your chance to host a link in your department. All right, thanks. Bye.